I thought I should do a short video on how to set up the new in-phone loco sounds feature that's available in the current beta version of Engine Driver. Um, I'm going to show you uh, my current um, uh, development version which has a few slight differences and I'll point them out along the way but all the core functionality is, is the same. So you can set this up from any of the um, throttle screens inside Engine Driver and it doesn't matter whether it's a, a vertical one like this one or, or the normal horizontal ones, whether it's switching or non-switching um, or shunting, um, it doesn't make any difference. You, what you do is you, if you go into the menu you'll see that there's a new option in there called Loco Sounds. If I select that I've got the ability to set up uh, sounds on throttle 1 and 2. You can have more throttles on screen, uh, the, uh, some of them allow, up, uh, some of the the layouts allow up to six, but only the first two will ever be allowed or able to have sounds. It's not a technical limitation. It was just simply, it, it's just, it sounds silly if you've got more than, more than two. It just sounds horrible. So anyway, uh, we may change that in the future, but at the moment it's it's set at two. The third option there is the uh, momentum delay, uh, and that's um, can be set higher or lower. So what that is is how long it takes between the steps or notches. Um, before it moves on to the no next step or notch. Uh, that'll be more obvious as I show you shortly. Um, the other two options, uh, three options, sorry, are the loco engine sound volume uh, and the bell and the horn sound, uh, horn whistle sound volume. Uh, I'm going to set the engine sound right down. I do find it a little bit annoying, but I'm going to set it way down on this case because um, it's, it drowns out my voice when I do these. Uh, and I can close or I can back out, same difference. So that'll take me back to the throttle screen. And, um, oh, I did I, <laughs> did I, loco sound, oh, I forgot to set the uh, the actual loco sounds. So for throttle one, I'll set it to fast steam, and for throttle two, I'll set it for the, e, e, oh, wrong one, the uh, EMD turbo. So I'll close out of there. So if I now select a loco, and I'm just going to put a random address in here. Uh, I've got my steam hiss, the idle hiss, and as I throttle up, you can hear it go through the steps till it eventually gets to 100%. And that's where that 750 millisecond delay comes in, uh, which will play each step for a minimum of 0.75 per second. I hit stop, again it steps down 0.75 per second for each step before it eventually gets down to zero. And by adjusting that, making it larger or smaller, you can more closely match how your, your actual, the actual momentum that you have in your locomotives. Um, you can set that right down to zero if you don't want it to step at all. It will go straight to the, the next um, the, the setting that you've got the, uh, the speed of throttle at. Okay, you can hear in the bell. Bell is press and hold as normal. I'm sorry, press and release as normal. Horn is press and hold. Um, and I can mute that, so I'll just hit mute, and I'll go on to the next one, and I'll t put in another random address. This is my diesel, and it works much the same way, but there's only about four steps, I think, in this particular one. And here, I'll go the same way. And I'll step that down. Okay, so, um, though both of those were DCC addresses, what if I've got something in my roster that doesn't have that many function buttons in it? So I'll just show you that one. That. Actually, I'll release both. So if I select something from my roster, something that I know doesn't have the function buttons, so I think that one's okay. So there you go. So I've I don't have a bell and a horn sound. I've deliberately set up JRMI so that it knows that it doesn't have sound, so they're all all eliminated. So how do I get to my bell and my horn? Oh, by the way, oops, take me off. I still have steam like this, and I just can't get to the bell and the horn. The bell and whistle in this case. So if I do need to do that, I can go to the function defaults and I can set it to use the defaults. That doesn't immediately change it, but if I go in here and here back out, and you see I get all 28. Um, I get all 28 uh, function buttons, and you, if you go back in there again, you can in fact change that if you want to see less than that. Um, you can set it back down to about 4 or so, which is about 4 or 5, something like that. But uh, that way I can get to those extra buttons that I may not otherwise have been able to get to because I told it that it didn't have those functions. Um, the other things to show then are uh, in the preferences, I can set up a quicker way to get to that screen if I wish, which is the info and logo sounds button, which is something you'll appear on the toolbar. Uh, you can 
see it up there in the top right, um, it's just a faster way to get to that screen. It's no different to, to getting there via the, the menu and the loco signs. Uh, within the preferences too, you've got uh, exactly the same set of options listed uh, under the info and logo sounds section. They're exactly the same options that you would get on that screen, and these might disappear from here in, in later iterations. It sort of doesn't seem to have a whole lot of value in having it in both places. Um, the final thing I'll talk about is not in the current beta, but uh, just to show you, the bottom option on here that is a logo four steps is actually a custom. Uh, sound, uh, sound file, uh, sound profile. So the idea behind it is that you'll be able to set up your own uh, sound profiles, uh, something similar to the way the .vsd files work for um, uh, JRMI itself, but far, far simplified at this point in time. Uh, I really I couldn't use the VSD format. It was just going to take too much processing time to figure out what it actually was, uh, what it contains. And at the moment, the options are a lot more limited. So. It will allow you to, to set up your own custom sound profiles and select them from the list. And that's it.